transform, 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 transform. Hi, my friends, my soul family, my name is Paris, and welcome to Artist of Life, a channel for me to be myself and thrive in an environment where I can be my well. I've been inactive on social media, except for the occasional live stream. I've been, you know, hard at work teaching my friends how to astral project. No! I think I saw did, you. Did we go to the same place? Yeah. Yeah. It was dark. I know, I know. I reached a thousand subs and I just died as life happens life happens but of those happenings birthed much growth and expansion within my consciousness specifically around the topics of business art and my finances and finding the balance between all those three things within my life the other day maybe two days ago i made an instagram story sharing briefly the new direction and pathway that i'm beginning to explore regarding the business stuff and it's a perspective that i'd like to share with my fellow struggling stubborn artists of life out there. I, myself, am currently one of these two, but with much trial and error that I've been going through for the time I've been gone, I'm finally starting to evolve my preferences, to evolve my belief systems, the belief systems that have been holding me back from thriving financially in this physical 3D material world life thing. <coughs> yeah. Now for this video, I want to share this IG story that summarizes my current exploration. And I will leave the space open for more questions, comments, and feedback to further expand all of us collectively in our consciousness. I love you guys, I miss all of you, and here's the story. Got an impromptu jam happening at Sunset Park right now. What? Did, did we go to the same place? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that looks so slippery. Sky dive or sky die? No, sky die. This is intense. Free! <laughs> no, this is gonna turn out bad. You can't just both just sit there and then. Okay. Fly off. Are you gonna jump off? I wanna try that. I wanna try it. I wanna go. I wanna no! go. Hey, today was a good day. Today made me happy. And that's important. To be happy in life. I'm an astral project now. I hope you guys all had beautiful days yourselves. Alright, peace. Just kidding, there's stuff I wanna talk about. I need to start getting in the habit of setting disclaimers before I actually talk about stuff. So if you don't feel like listening to me talk about stuff, you can go ahead and stop watching the story right now. Now tonight's topic of conversation of my deep thoughts revolves around the concept of business and art and finding the balance between the two within your life as an artist, if you are one. And another disclaimer before anyone listens, I don't make lots of money as it is not my goal to be financially rich or wealthy. However, I am learning how to navigate through the realm of my finances and in conjunction with my artistry. With that being said, I don't claim to be any kind of authority on the advice that I'm sharing, and it's not really advice, it's more so me just sharing my personal experiences, the things I've learned through my mistakes, and the direction that I've discovered that I want to go down as an artist trying to facilitate my lifestyle. I feel that to a lot of us artists out there, we have a belief system that stops us from really manifesting the material wealth that we can attract into our experience. From utilizing our passions to acquire said abundance in material wealth. We have this belief system that makes it so that it feels weird to get paid for something that you love to do. And I feel that this has been instilled in us with constant programming from schooling and education and that you cannot make money being an artist, but now times are changing. You can make money being an artist, but how do you do that? And how do we not get tainted by it? I feel that we as artists have a lot of pride in what we do and we feel that if we actually make a sum of money from what we create, it will taint the purity of our creation. That's, I'm starting to overcome that belief system. 
And going deeper into that and understanding myself a little bit more through my experiences, I understand that I can't be doing one thing all the time. I get bored of things very easily. That's why I have so many different passions. Meaning that if my lifestyle was centered around making income off of one thing, I would get bored of that one thing over time. And I would feel forced to do it. And then I would stop enjoying the passion because then it's tainted. I I feel forced to do it. In my personal philosophy that I've begun to develop, I want to live in a reality where I can choose what I create, when I want to create, who I create for, and not have to worry about a paycheck. And so how the hell do I do that? Well, I need finances. I need finances to not worry about a paycheck. I need some kind of consistent revenue stream to be coming in. So what multiple income revenue streams can I create using my creativity? What things can I create? What product can I create that is just existing, that I do not have to manage, that just generates cash flow? So that I don't have to worry about getting a paycheck from my passions. Now, that's not to say that I don't want to get a paycheck for creative work that I may do, but what it does is it allows me the freedom to create for the sake of creation more, to work on passion projects more and not need the money from it, to not need to monetize what I create. I still can, but that freedom of not needing to do so, I feel would make me just feel more free. (laughs) Now, honestly, I don't know who has continued watching this or if it has even made any sense to anybody. It makes sense to me and that's all that matters. And I'm kind of doing this so that I can watch myself and articulate myself better as I judge myself. But yo, essentially all I'm trying to say is I love creating for the sake of creation. That's the kind of person that I am. I'm not a competitive spirit. I don't care about like having a lot of people follow me or having a lot of people know me. I just want to be able to be free to create what I want to. I don't care about making a lot of money. I just care about being myself and thriving in an environment where I can be myself. And the reason why I'm just being open and vulnerable about this knowledge and this whatever growth that I'm experiencing is to share it with others in hopes that if anyone has resonated with the story or has been able to make any sense of it, that you've been able to receive some value from it or, I don't know, something has helped. You shift your own perspective of your reality or that it has probably revealed another way. I want to be myself, thrive in my work and be myself and be able to pay my bills and everything in between. To have a balance of my mental wealth, to have a balance of my spiritual wealth, my emotional wealth, my physical wealth, my material wealth, all of those things. I want to be all of that. But yeah, that's my rant, business and art. Uh, and my own direction that I found in Pathway that I am currently working on exploring. I'm done. Also, another disclaimer, I didn't go to college and I didn't go to business school or anything. I'm just like learning all this stuff as I go. And I sneak into college classes and don't pay the debt. Educate myself for free. Yeah. Also, shout out to YouTube. Lots of knowledge on YouTube. Okay, done for the night. I'm retiring. Good night and sweet dreams. Uh, Pleasant astral projections and love and light to everyone. Peace out. Honestly, right now, I don't even understand what the heck I said. I just watched my whole story and I have no idea what the heck I said, but whatever. I'll leave it up anyway. (laughs) 